Sujo Suwotata. Zai Jongwo, Zai Sujo Shuishi, then a UDL, Liaoche Jongwen Wenhua. Eji Suwota Mongshan. Wota Mongshan Shuchangonga. And I never believed that I would be sitting here in a place like this, talking to so many experts from so many different countries about Jake. What your Nikaran? Dansha Shanzai, Zajili, your Chaputo, Shuwuga, Ashiga, Waigot, Yuchi, I had a Ren Hayo, Yuchi, the Diaka, Dasha, Chief, the Udia, Ishuja, Ijin, the Sujo, the Udia, Yin Shangotola, the Gambe, Kanisha, and Tadi Yenjin, Uela Ueta. Uela Ueta. Men, Uela Ueta, Shifang, Lai Dao Sujo, Shuishi, Samatia. Shetia, 我是在路班的门口 我的一个老外在光复除了我以外没有外国出光复看的人你好你好你好你好我的窗准备好了吗准备好我要看一下好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的好的
西兰比喻，这个名字是鲜活。Mother Earth, be Guan Yin, Chabado, and the Bush Guan Yin. You shall be his son. Bali Inuit Gong Chu. Totem or Gong Chu? Ah, Totem. We're going to have a look at every single piece. Uh, they're very interesting. Uh, this is Mian Bu Gai Se. This is water. Mao He Shen Li. I'm from New Zealand. I've been carving now for something like uh, 47 years. It's a gift from the gods to man, to earth. It carries a very, very strong resonance and energy of its own. New Zealand stone is a store of knowledge that's universal, has to be. All civilizations have dragons across the world, everywhere. Representations of spiritual energy guarding mankind. Asleep, almost awake. To this one which is rising, it's waking, consciousness coming forward. To this one here which is conscious, alive, ready to face the world. And the stone itself is alive. energy of its own, but we're attached by that energy. And there's not many of them in the Western world, but am I one of the elders of such, of close to 50 years. When I first started, less than, in the whole country, today there would be anywhere from 600 to 1,000 people working stone full time. The Chinese had been carving jade for millennia. I spent uh, studying old Chinese books picking the stone up, playing with it. I did, I got bitten by the jade bug. It's a virus in the blood. The significance of the mistress term comes in. New Zealand having uh, the Maori influence going back some hundreds of years. In 1997, the government passed the ownership jade back to Māori. Māori now control jade in New Zealand.
Jade is an extension of Māori, culturally significant material. Famous traditional design is what we call the heitiki. Embryos high form, it has humanistic characters, usually big eyes, squat body, large stomach. It's a reference to the ancestors' genealogy, two tribes setting a, a quarrel and coming together. The way that was presented was through a peace act of, of gifting jade. Jade was considered as a, a peace act. When weapons were made from jade, they were very, very strong. After we sort of moved from uh, tools and weapons, jade was appreciated for its beauty. A lot of people started working the material. And I know this would just blow them away. What do you reckon? No. There's no real carving tradition in the United States. There's also no real market. There, the market is not like the market here. It's much lower. We are at Big Sur Jade Festival, 22 years in running. All the artists that work in Jade is the place to be which is awesome, and uh, hopefully there'll be all kinds of colors and jades from all over the world. It's quite a collection of jade carvers and jade artists and jade hunters and rock hounds in general all together and celebrate jade. Empty yourself for hours at a time and, and focus. It really is a way to integrate stillness. From what I gather, I'm the only one person in the United States who carves jade for a living. south of San Francisco, mountains coming into the ocean, so you find it on the beach and also diving into the ocean. Going down and surfing and then looking for jade on the beach. It's kind of an inexplicable attraction to that creature. There's no tradition of carving jade. We are just starting our own tradition. This is a much more traditional area than Suzhou. It's more commercial carving of bangles, teapots, vases, bowls, using a cheaper jade than they use in Suzhou, but a very, very good hard jade, usually a Qinghai Buyu. I almost tripped over it. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You get a fracture here, but look at this. Yeah. Right. These are scraps, but some of this is actually beautiful material. With the light behind it, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Nice piece, yeah. This way. Okay, the face, honey. No, that's a nice, that's a nice piece. Good <laughs> afternoon. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. And these things I think are amazing. The whole process here of making a bangle, which takes me a week properly or properly, they do in a couple of hours. So no, they're using a core drill. More for width, more for how thick it is. So they constantly redraw around the sides and then shave it down and shave it down right. and shave it. First time I saw it, I was amazed. This lump of stone turned into a perfect bangle in two hours. Carver in Suzhou or Guangfu makes their own bangle. There's more carving going on here in this street than there is in the whole of New Zealand.
at working on larger stone where I take the tool to the stone versus with a stationary arbor and move the stone and make the cutting. I come to jade from a sculptural background and eventually I got exposed to jade and I fell in love with this fabulous, truly magical stone. sculptor for a better part of 40 years. When I start working in jade, I realize that it is the most spiritual and most powerful stone, most powerful medium to work in as a sculptor. The jade is a healing stone, is a spiritual stone, is a stone of love. It's a combination which became, over years, became one of my specialties where I combine jade with bronze or combine jade with bone or uh, wood. I like the combination of the energies, combining it with a different feeling, a different material, inner part, is this beautiful Siberian jade. The title of this piece is Mother of Pearl. was completed. It's sexy models. This is the actual original shell. Oh, this how it's carved underneath. This lattice work is free of the jade underneath it. Right. And he does this by hand on one of those green machines. Really? And he thinks he's made six really good ones in his life. And the best one took him two years. Okay. And he's one of the four master carvers really? in Suja. <laughs> the fact that he does it by hand on a yeah. green machine, yeah. well, it's not on it's free. What? That, that lattice work is free of behind no. it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? That, that wall thickness in here. Yeah. But he, do, he doesn't sand or polish it. This guy's studied the uh, sculpture in Italy. This is the perfect example of someone seeing the design in the stone before they carve it, you know? This jade, this porcelain jade, this Qinghua jade. And I love that stone, I want that stone. See the stone, I'm like, wow, it's beautiful. Megaran Gaussu, I don't know. It just captures the imagination. I'm absolutely speechless. I could spend all day long looking at the different lines, the subtlety of line. Mega Dong Shi Shi Chuan Tong Da. This is San Yin Yin. Jin Yin, Bai Fen Jie Wu, Bai Fen Jie Shi, Shi Shi Yin Dai Da. Shi Fang Jie Shi Jie Yin Shang Zhong Ren. thousands of years this is the first time in history that foreign people or foreign carvers have come to exhibit in China and study Chinese carving. First time in history the 
Jay Bridge. What for Porter? Porter already exists. I've just got on the train. I'm just lucky to be on the crest of a wave. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go Do you shout out?